Hey guys, what's up? Austin Smith here with a review of a pen and pencil set from quite a while ago. This uh, was passed down to me from my family. My family's always been Parker and Schaefer, both sides are always Parker and Schaefer people. And this is a Parker 21 set that probably belonged to my grandmother, but I don't know. It was in a box of a bunch of pens and was fortunately the one with the only one with the sack that hadn't completely been destroyed. Anyway, we're going to take a look at the pencil first because that is slightly less interesting. We have the uh, fairly standard Parker sort of pointy top there. Parker arrow. Uh, sort of eh, blocky Parker arrow. And interesting look there. Pull this off. Yeah. and you end up with an eraser that has uh, been completely destroyed over the years. Now it is uh, almost completely useless, but whatever. Put that back, and you have a nice green color. I do like this green, and a little silver pointy end that the lead comes out of. You twist it, and lead comes out. It is a 9mm lead, and from what I can tell, fairly soft. Um, although not too soft. It's it's a standard pencil, pretty much. It seems like an HB. I don't exactly know what it is, because that was just in there when I picked this up, and I don't use the pencil very much. It writes well, and it works. That's pretty much all I have to say about the pencil. Now onto the pen. Uh, the pen here has, again, that standard, uh, fairly standard for the time, Parker um, cup on the cap there. Not much exciting you have a clip that just kind of has a Parker arrow stamped into it right there. We've got a nice uh, brushed steel cap. It says Parker if that focuses. If you can read that. Parker and then on the back here made in USA Parker 21. So there's the 21. 21 Parker, made in USA. And then you have that same nice green color for the barrel. Cap is a slip cap. You have the nice little ring that the cap slips onto there. Um, you have a bit of a line where the cap stops and a bit of a line here where there's friction on the grip. You have a hooded nib there, pretty hooded, or pretty close to fully hooded right there. Got a little tiny bit poking out. Underneath you have the feed that uh, I have not I don't know how that removes or anything like that. You have a built-in converter. Uh, it probably comes out, but it doesn't come out easily. You have the sack that somehow has not desiccated yet, and a little uh, push bar. There's filling instructions on the side here, in case you don't know how to fill your pen, which is nice. It's good that they're on the inside and not on some piece of paper that will get lost. You basically press the bar down, it empties the sack of air, you stick it in ink, let the bar go, creates a vacuum, sucks ink up, you do that a couple times, and you have a full sack of ink. That's basically the pen, really simple pen, nice look, classic design. Uh, I like it a lot, and I'm going to bring in some paper and write with it. All right, all right, let's write with the... Let's see if I can get a good angle on this. Focus, focus. This is the Parker 21 using Namiki black ink. I believe this pen is a medium and the paper is Cambridge, which is a fairly cheap paper. The quick. As you can see, it's almost broad, the uh, the line. We write pretty fast. The Stemiki ink flows pretty well, but so does the pen. There's no skipping problems or anything like that. You can pretend you're writing words that no one will be able to read in forever. Anyway, it writes fairly solidly, as you can see, wet line. Really nice. I like it a lot. Uh, of course, the, I like the ink as well. 
the pen works well. There's no real flex to be had, although this ink is uh, ink and feed combination is wet enough that leaving it on the paper longer does indeed seem to make it bolder. However, there is no line variation, which I am entirely fine with. Uh, I'm not. I don't need line variation in all my pens, and this one's just a nice writer. It is, as I say, an older pen, but it has held up. I don't know if someone replaced the sack in this, but if no one did, then uh, that sack has been going for quite some time and hasn't had any problems yet. Uh, it's just a hardy little pen. I've seen some of these with the clips removed and uh, all sorts of beat up, uh, like nicks and dings on them. And they're still writing strong. I like them. They're a classic pen, one of the mainstay of fountain pen collections uh, and all sorts of stuff like that. So it's a good pen and if you can find one easily uh, they're probably a must-have for a, a vintage fountain pen collector already has them but they're a must, they're a pretty good buy uh, for most fountain pen collectors unless you decided that you're only going to collect modern pens in which case more power to you but whatever. Good pen. I like it a lot. And pencil too. Here, I might as well show you that writing. It writes. It's a pencil. Bye.